I am Professor Rios. In this occasion, I'm going to show you how to do a four bend saddle. When you will be used a four bend saddle? You will use a four bend saddle when you want to overcome an obstacle that is square or rectangular. And what is the occasion? You are lying down your conduit, okay? And you end in a certain position. Now, when you get in your conduit to continue lying down your conduit, you realize that you have an obstacle to overcome. So, in order to overcome this, the first thing that you need to do is to measure the distance between the end of your conduit and the obstacle. Okay, in this case is 36 inches. Now, with this measurement, we need to apply the rule of the table to find out what is the ah, distance. Yeah. Okay? So, how are you? Oh, sorry. I'm good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we know that this distance is for 30 degrees, the height times the multiplier, which is 2. In this case, it's 12. So we have to subtract from 36, the 12, okay, plus the shrink that we see here, 36 minus 12 plus the string. That gives us the new measurement of 25 and a half. 25 and a half will be this mark here, okay? And you mark it. This is the new conduit that you need to bend, okay? Now that we have this one, we go for the next mark, which is B. How do we find mark B? You find mark B by adding to this 25 and a half this distance which is according to the table the multiplier which is 2 times the height which is 6 that is 12 okay so you have 25 and a half plus the multiplier times the height which is 12 plus the, the, the shrink value, which is one inch and quarter. And that gives us 39. That's point B. And we mark this in the conduit. The next thing that we need to mark is point C. Point C is going to be this mark plus eight inches. So here we have 39 plus eight inches is going to give us 47. So 47 is going to give us this mark C. Okay? Now we need, and we, of course, we go ahead and mark it. Now we need to mark the next point we need to bend the conduit. How do we find that out? Is the multiplier times the height, which is 6 times 2, is 12. Okay? 12 plus the shrink value, which is one inch and a half. That's how we get 47 plus one inch and a half plus 12. That's when we get 60 inches and a half. And then we hit and mark the pipe. Once we have this mark uh, marked, we use the TR, very important in our conduit bender we need to use the tear okay what is what happens when you use the tear the tear is the center of your bend so when you use a tear which is the center of your bend this the marks are going to be right at the center of the bend and it's exactly what we need to do okay this is basically a way to understand how to do this. In reality, 
you can unload an application to your phone, input the height, the width, the distance to the obstacle, the angle, which is the angle, and will give us the four points we need to part the mark the cone with. We mark it and we bend it. And th this is as easy as this. This is how you do the four bend saddle. Thank you.